What's up guys, this is Wang from DJI Agriculture. Today I will show you the full workflow of doing variable rate application using Final 4 multi-spectral drone and a glass drone T30. I will first use the Final 4 multi-spectral drone to scout the growth of a sugarcane field. Based on the health variation of this sugarcane field, we will generate a prescription map for foliar fertilizer in order to regulate the growth of this field. Then we will send this prescription map down to the Agrastron T30 to execute a variable rate application. Now let's go. In order to do variable rate application, we first need to know the growth variation of the field. We will use P4M to survey this sugarcane field. I already have the drone, the remote controller, and the iPad connected and power on. On the iPad, we need to use the GS Pro app. Click on my missions to go into the mission list. We need to create a new mission for this variable rate application. Tap on the plus sign and you can use the photo map mode. Based on the satellite imagery, you can tap to create the field boundary. You can check the vertices of the box to adjust the boundary of this field. And next, we need to edit the parameters for this mission. For most parameters, you can use the default mode. Um, but for capture mode, please make sure you're using the capture at equal time interval. For fly height, in this case, we will use 150 meters. Under advanced settings, we recommend using 80% for front overlap ratio and 70% for side overlap ratio. For course angle, you can check the auto box to automatically align the fly path to be perpendicular to the sun angle. Please also make sure you are connected to RTK. Tap on the RTK button and hit connect. Also, please make sure you turn on the fix option. When you see the base station and aircraft both to be green, it means it's already connected to RTK and it's under fixed mode. You will also need to make sure the camera mode is visible rather than vegetation indices. The camera mode that is showing right now is NDBI mode. Let's switch it to visible mode. Only when it's under visible mode, the camera will capture the RGB images during the mission. Now we have the drone and the mission set up. Let's fly P4M and take some pictures. The photo that we just took is stored in the drone's SD card. So we need to unplug the SD card and then insert this SD card to the computer to copy the photos. So we have copied the photo from the drone to the computer and used DJI Terra software to process the photos. Now we've got a automosic imagery in RGB mode and also vegetation indices mode, for example, NVI. In this NDVI map, the higher the NDVI value is, the healthier the plants usually are because it contains more chlorophyll content. So in the scenario of applying foliar fertilizer, we would like to apply less foliar fertilizer to the area that are healthier. And on the opposite, in the area that's less healthy, we need to apply more foliar fertilizer. So now let's make this prescription map. What's showing here is a AI classified land cover map. Let's turn it off for now. And next, we would need to delineate the field that we want to apply foliar fertilizer. So we need to draw the boundary of this field.
and at a correction point, and we can save the field. And next, let's turn back on the AI classified map. We notice that the area that we want to apply foliar fertilizer was not classified as field, which is a incorrect classification. So we need to modify the result to make this area back into a field class. After selecting the field class, we can start brushing the area. If you notice obstacles inside the field, such as power ports and buildings, then you would need to modify those into the corresponding classes because when generating the flight path, this object will be avoided. Now let's save the results. So next, we will need to configure the parameters for the prescription map. We need to assign the average rate, the good growth rate, and the poor growth rate. So for example, let's say in this field, we want to apply 20 liter per hectare as the average rate. And for the area that's healthier, meaning the good growth area, we only need to apply 15 liter per hectare. On the opposite, in the area that's poor growth, we need to increase that to 20 liter per hectare. And after the setting, we can click apply and select all fields. So the prescription map is generated and we notice that in the area that has better growth, meaning higher NAVI value, the application rate is lower. And in this area that has poor growth, the application rate is larger, which is closer to the maximum application rate that we just set. But ultimately, the average application rate for this whole field would be 20 liter per hectare. And the next step is to export this mission and the prescription map to a grass jaw T30 for execution. So after inserting the SD card into your computer, you can go ahead and click export to DJMG. And now it automatically selects the route that this mission and the prescription map need to be saved to. And you can go ahead and hit OK. And the mission is saved to the SD card. So the Terra software part is done, and we'll move to the next part, executing the variable rate application mission using a grass show. On T30 remote controller, insert the SD card and import the mission. Click on execute task and load the mission list. You can use the field generated in Terra or create a completely new field. You can use the satellite imagery to tap on the field boundaries to create a field or use the drone to add the field vertices or any other methods. In this case, we will use the field generated in Terra. you notice that the RGB high resolution imagery is also imported. Click on the plus sign on the upper right corner to add the prescription map. On the logo, click on the prescription map to import. Now you notice that the prescription map is overlaid with the mission. You can double tap on a boundary edge to align the fly path to the edge. Then you can edit the other parameters, such as the route spacing. Click Save to save the mission. And click Use to set up more parameters. For application rate here, 
you will need to enter the maximum application rate of your prescription map. This application rate is not used in the mission because the mission will use the application rate from your prescription map. The purpose of setting up the application rate here is to limit the price bid. Let's use 20 km per hour as the flight speed. And for flight height, let's use 3.5 meter. Click Start to upload the mission to the draw. The drone's flow rate corresponds to the prescription's application rate in real time, so you'll be able to see the flow rate changes during the mission. In the area the application rate is smaller, the flow rate is also smaller. The mission is complete and the drone is returning to home now. So the mission of growth monitoring and variable rate spraying is done. It's a very simple workflow, isn't it? Now it's your time to try. Bye bye now and see you next time.